सन्नियमेन्द्रीय ग्रामम सर्वत्र समबुद्धय ते प्राप्तवंती मामेव सर्वभूत हिते रता हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी फोर्थ श्लोक ऑफ दी ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवदगीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गोर इट्स मीनिंग सो द श्लोक सेज सन्नियम येन्द्रीय ग्रामम विच मीन्स द वन हु कंट्रोल्स दी सेंसेज सर्वत्र समबुद्धय विच मीन्स विद इवन माइंड इवन माइंडेडनेस एट ऑल प्लेसेज ते प्राप्नुवंती मामेव विच मीन्स दे ऑल्सो अटेन मी सर्वभूत हिते रता विच मीन्स एंगेज इन दी बेनिफिट्स ऑफ ऑल बीइंग्स सो ओवर हियर श्री कृष्णा इज एक्सेप्टिंग दैट द वन हु कैन नो दी अनमैनिफेस्ट बाय कंट्रोलिंग दी सेंसेज एंड कीपिंग एन ईवन माइंड also attains me if that person is engaged in the benefit of all beings so in other words uh, shri krishna is saying that this path of the imperishable unmanifest is a valid path to attain the union with the divine so in the previous shloka uh, we understood that uh, this path of the imperishable unmanifest uh, is uh, the path wherein you situate yourself in uh, that entity which is present everywhere which is uh, unmoving unchanging which is constant and which is unthinkable so uh, this path wherein you are placing yourself in this entity which is unmoving unchanging if you basically control your senses if you control your senses in a manner wherein your senses are not getting affected by any external thing and you are able to maintain your equanimity you are able to stay the constant stay the same at all times then you will attain shri krishna is what he is saying over here so this path let's understand how it takes us to shri krishna so what happens is that we understood in the second shlok that you know uh, when people are following the path of devotion they worship their deity and if somebody makes fun of their deity they become offended so inside their mind there are these fluctuations which are going on so they are basically basically getting affected by external senses but if you are a kind of a person who does not really get affected by any of those senses then you will be able to attain shri krishna because you are automatically you are automatically submitting to the will of the lord by not really reacting to any of those external effects you are staying constant you are staying um staying unchanging you're not really getting affected so you're not really basically not really changing at all to the external stimuli but the thing is that you're not also acting on to it right because you're staying the same so you are not also acting for the divine also you're basically just staying the constant at all the time so because you're doing that so it is different from the path of real devotion that you will understand in the coming shlokas uh so that's why shri krishna will say that this is not the optimal path but it is definitely the path to get to me if you are still engaging yourself in the benefit of all beings so you don't really act but you still wish for the good of others you still wish that everybody is uh, is uh, attaining everybody stays fine if you are still wishing for that and you are not really getting affected by external stimulus and you are not acting on it and you are not really getting affected by it then also you will attain shri krishna so that is because you automatically will be submitting to the wish of the lord if you were to not act on any of the stimuli which is coming from the external external thing so you will still be act, not acting and uh, that nature of shri krishna is also one nature of shri krishna wherein uh, he is staying constant so if you were able to locate yourself over there then you will still be able to attain it but this is not the optimal path and we will understand that in the next shlok why this is not the optimal path so i hope that i have explained this shloka well to you with that i'll close this video i'll see you in the next video take care